How's it? IndianCowboy.Sports.com. Catch you on Wednesday, March 20th, as we get this video to you every round this time. I have a night lamp next to me. Not a night lamp, but a desk lamp. And sometimes I think because it's on my right side, it makes my contacts on my right eye water. But hope you guys are doing well. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports. Indian Cowboy has been around for 19 years, and Doc Sports has been around for 53 years. The algorithms of Indian Cowboy, I should say. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my podcast. Great free pick winner yesterday is by A.B. Cornell, the Big Red, over Ohio State. Sorry, not over Ohio State, but the game went over between Cornell and Ohio State. Nice winner on Tuesday there. Uh, we also gave you on Monday, we gave you the Sixers, and they got it done as well as over the Nets. That's back-to-back free pick winners, not to mention a 7-2, and 8-3, and 16-8, and 8, 21-10. 66% on free picks for a month is pretty good. Excited to get you another free play winner here today. And uh, again, our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Arun Shiva. That's me. Our next best selections are our free picks and, uh, and leans, which is the daily video that you're watching right now. If you can't get enough of us, we have a YouTube premium channel for $20 a month. And on Tuesday is Tuesdays, um, I should say Wednesdays and Thursdays at 10 o'clock uh, at 10 p.m. We do a live show where we teach you how to fish, how to look at ball games in depth. And uh, this week we did it Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, which is pretty exciting. Uh, we've done a couple live shows. It's basically where we teach you how to fish and how to look at ball games in depth. Uh, we slowly go through the 10 games that you choose and you get the first look on the next day's ball games. Um, it's an incredible value, great community, a recorded podcast that's summarized at the end as well. The link to YouTube premium is in the comments section as well as a link to how to get to free $60 worth of premium selections. And if you want even more content, check our Twitter, it has our latest updates, our hot takes on sports and our most recent videos are posted there. All right, let's get to your free play winner today. By the way, we have a seven-unit college basketball selection today, which goes off at 7 o'clock. Uh, we had to come off a big day yesterday in college basketball. We started the March Madness 2-0. and Took some really sharp selections. You needed to have some gonads for those. Four-unit selection on North Texas, plus the 2.5 over LSU. Outright winner. They got their revenge from the earlier season loss. Very rarely do you see NIT teams facing each other that have faced each other's prior in the regular season. Then we took four-unit uh, selection on Georgia over Xavier. Good public fade, and they won. And then Tarleton State uh, pushed against Texas Southern. So 2-0 and plus 800 start to March Madness. Uh, I will have three selections every day in March Madness until it gets late in the March Madness season. And uh, then we can't have three selections because it's too late. But obviously, March Madness just started. So every day, pretty much, all throughout March Madness, I'll have three selections, including today, a seven-unit at 7 o'clock and two four-units. Baseball, eight days away. Excited about it. Four-unit selection on Wednesday between the Pacers and Pistons. We do need to go on an NBA run. We're on a plus 2,050 run now, but we can do better. NHL four unit selection uh, today nine and five runs soccer eleven and six run currently uh, international break right now on the pitch winning golf season currently we have a seven unit selection right now in golf that is pending uh, and then Emma, which is up it's, it hasn't started it starts tomorrow uh, so goes off Thursday um, MMA plus fifty eight hundred on the season so far which is pretty incredible all right let's get to your free play winner today and. I like Bradley today. Um, one second here. Uh, why is my right eye watering? Allergies, maybe? Possibly. Possibly. Okay, so as far as Bradley's concerned, I like Bradley minus the five. Who do you think gets up for each other? Bradley or the sexy Loyola Chicago team that we heard so much about previously? Uh, in previous March Madness and stuff. I think Bradley gets up for them, to be honest with you. Bradley, at the end of the day, is a top 20 effective field goal percentage team. Bradley beat Utah State early this year. They beat UAB early this year on the road. Uh, Bradley's impressive, in my opinion. They lost Indiana State uh, twice, but the second time in overtime. And they lost to Drake twice, which obviously Drake, um, you know, obviously Drake is, is doing well. And it, Drake's, you know, a, a team that, um, you know, won and beat Indiana State and went to the dance. So this is a team that's coached by Brian Wardell, who, by the way, you know, Brian Wardell has always had a pretty good team out there, and he's done really well with them, and he's got them at 22 wins this year, and they're going to be up for this game. And they got a couple of seniors that they'll want to do well for, and Loyola Chicago, for as good as they are, they're outside the top 260 in turnover percentage. Drew Valentine is a very good coach, okay? There's no doubt about that. I mean, he took this team over from Porter Moses. Um, which was a 26 win team, team 2021, took them to 25 wins. They went to the NCAA tournament and they lost Ohio State and then 10 wins the next year and then now 23 wins. 
I understand this team lost to St. Bonnie in the first round of the tournament, so they're going to be motivated. However, this is the same team that lost to Illinois Chicago earlier this year and to South Florida. And I think what happens here is they're a top 25 defensive team, but they're outside the top 180 in offense. And give me Bradley, minus the five today. That is my free play today. Uh, as the rest of your leans, I do have, how many leans do I have? Because we're doing three college basketball selections, I have only, I have six leans. Well, six total free play selections. Your next one, I like SMU here. They are the better team, in my opinion. I get the concept that Indiana State's going to get up for a Power 5 school. Indiana State is rocking, right? They will be rocking tonight. Rob Lanier, team lost first round at Temple. Um, so they're going to be motivated. And I think they need this win. This is an SMU team that still beat Memphis, North Texas, who beat LSU, who beat UAB and FSU on the road. And for that team to get six and a half, seven points against Indiana State, who's also a very good team, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to take a lean on SMU just based on the resume. Um, you know, I understand that SM, Indiana State lost to Dayton by two on the road. Oh, no, I should tell you this. SMU lost, lost Indiana by two on the road. And SMU is also top five in the nation in offensive rebounding. Indiana State's one of the worst offensive rebounding teams in the nation. I understand Indiana State is, is going to be a home and rocking, but I'm still taking SMU. The Bucks and the Celtics. I'm going to go with the Bucks here, despite not having Giannis. Bucks won by 32 points back on January 11th um, between these two teams. So the Celtics have revenge, of course. You have everything the Celtics would would. Did you ever think the Celtics would be 10-point favorites to begin with in the beginning of the season over the Bucks to begin with, even with or without Giannis? I think even with Giannis, this, they would probably be a minus 9.5-point favorite, to be honest with you. Uh, Milwaukee just beat Phoenix by 11. Boston, they're playing well right now, even without Giannis. Portis had 31 points in his last game. Boston has won six in a row. Giannis is out. But then again, Jalen Brown's also out too, supposedly. So I'm taking a lean on the Bucks. I think they're playing really well without Giannis right now. Kings and Raptors. I like the Kings here. No quickly in this game. And the Kings should be furious from the garbage performance they had against Memphis. They had to go to overtime to beat them. I think the Raptors off four straight losses could be motivated. And obviously no quickly as well. So that could motivate them too. But having said that, the Kings played so bad against Memphis. I'm going to take a lean on the Kings. Utah and Oklahoma City. Um, you know, I like, I like Utah here. The Jazz beat this team by seven on February 6th. So I understand the OKC has revenge here. No Markinen and Clarkson in this game. And I actually think Utah's backups will play quite well. OKC did play, you know, um, you know, they didn't play that great against Memphis, and I get that. But I like Utah to hang tough here. I think they played great against the Kings and hung tough in that game. And they have enough shooters to possibly keep up with an up-and-down game here, especially without Markin and playing today, too. They're going to really be focused. So Miami and Cleveland, I'll go with the upset here. I like Miami on the road here. I understand that they might not have Adebayo in this game. Um, Cleveland won 111-99 last game, and Miami won back in November. So no Adebayo, no Robinson, no Butler, no Jovic, no Hero, no Love, no Mobley, no Wade, no Mitchell. So there's so many guys that are out. But Miami just lost 91-98 against Philadelphia, and they played really well, uh, even without all those starters. So And they're obviously well coached, and that's why they're only a two-point dog. Cleveland's, think about this. Cleveland is off a huge win against Indiana, and now they're only a two-point favorite. They beat the Pelicans just three games ago and still a two-point favorite. They beat Minnesota as well, only a two-point favorite. I think Miami surprisingly shocks them here on the road, and I think they play pretty well. That's what I have for you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to the YouTube videos. YouTube Premium, I'll see you tonight at 10 p.m. for your live show. We'll talk about 10 games. First look for tomorrow. I hope you enjoy the content. See you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.